Welcome back friends. In this video we are going to talk about uh, the central dogma of biology. And the central dogma of biology means the production of RNA from the DNA which is uh, having all the necessary information uh, which is placed in the DNA first and DNA give the information to RNA and the RNA is acting like a messenger. It will take the information from the DNA and it will go to the workbench of protein synthesis and reading those mRNA codons new I mean other amino acid other RNAs can come in and bring those amino acid sequences recognized by the RNAs and then the amino acid sequences will be linked together to make proteins now this is the whole process of from DNA to RNA and from RNA to protein now those proteins will again help us to build DNA RNA and protein itself okay so this is called the linking or central dogma of biology now let us look at this case in much more detail so first take a color in my hand always okay let's begin now here it is DNA and RNA now if we go with the transcription then what will happen sorry okay let us look at the transcription it means the production of messenger RNA from the DNA it's done after the transcription what will happen translation that means a particular region is attached with the ribosome and the ribosome will scan along uh, the sequences of mRNA each time three nucleotide sequences will bring one amino acid sequence now each of these amino acid sequence corresponding to the presence of three uh, nucleotides will be attached with each other to make pep peptide chain be because this bond between the amino acids are made by peptide bond so it is called the peptide chain and all at the end all of this peptide chain are connected together will be called a polypeptide or a protein molecule okay now the transfer or bringing of this uh, this amino acid sequences is via the tRNA or transfer RNA and the code that has provided is by the mRNA or messenger RNA now this code consists of all the DNA informations necessary for the translation so the first step is the DNA trans uh, replication then the DNA transcription and then the DNA translation replication means DNA produce DNA from itself now transcription means DNA produce RNA especially mRNAs in this case okay and translation means RNA uh, will help to produce proteins okay now ribosome scans along tRNA again brings another uh, amino acid here again linking is done then ribosome shifts and finally ribosome dis dissociates and the polypeptide chain or the protein is made now this is a protein sequence that we are finding here okay now here again so all the mRNA will be destroyed after the desired protein synthesis this is also an important part because we need nucleotides free nucleotides for the production of DNA mRNA okay now the final version of the genetic mechanism the DNA replaced uh, RNA becoming the major genetic material now the RNA shifts its role to to protein by biosynthesis so DNA produce mRNA via transcription then the ribosome will sit on to this mRNAs and keep on adding this uh, amino acid sequences via another type of ri uh, ribo another type of uh, RNA it is called the tRNA now tRNA will bring all the necessary uh, uh, amino acid sequences and bring it to the ribo uh, ribosome and it will attach one of uh, one after another to make polypeptide chain like that okay now in eukaryotes what happens in eukaryotes the thing is different DNA from the DNA mRNA is produced now the mRNA which is produced is consisting of two part one is the introns another one is exons now this DNA uh, RNA is edited on the intron parts are taken then the ribosome sits onto it only after releasing uh, this mRNA from the nucleus now all the previous processes like DNA replication and transcription happens inside the nucleus now once after the production of this mRNA the mRNA editing must be done before release uh, the releasing of this mRNA into the cytoplasm from the nucleus via the nuclear pore now after the RNA editing is done inside the nucleus where the introns are only taken and exons are chopped away uh, and introns are linked with each other to make uh, the functional mRNA and as soon as they make functional mRNA they, they just 
push it through the nuclear pore to finally enter into the cytoplasm and it we can it come in the cytoplasm and then inside the cytoplasm ribosomes will come and bind and it will and tRNA will bring amino acid sequences the amino acid sequences will be linked with each other via peptide linkage and then finally protein will be made okay so that's it and I hope it will help you thank you